Hey guys, so today we are doing one of my goth makeup looks. If you want to see how to do this makeup look, stick around and I will show you. Make sure to go over and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Aprilina Lindsay. I have it tagged in the thingy majig below. And I would love to see you guys over there commenting on my stuff and all that jazz because I like interacting with you. So stick around if you want to see how to do this. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and let's go. So I don't really spend much time on my eyebrows but from there I move on to eyeshadow which is where the majority of my time spent. So um, I'm going to figure out which one of my brushes is clean. This one right there. Just take a light brown. Um, and it's just going to kind of go in your crease and on your lid and just blend that out. Take a purple. I use this one right here in my um, electrics palette. You're gonna take the purple and you're gonna blend it in the same spots, but just not as far out. You know, blend it into the brown. and take a silver, like a sparkly silver, sparkly gold, whatever you wanna use, I use sparkly silver. Now we're gonna take a shadow brush and some black and we're just gonna darken up the crease. Okay, so then after that, you're gonna take a liquid eyeliner. Doesn't matter what kind, I'm going to use one of those like markery ones. This one is the Epic Ink by NYX and just do a classic wing. Now what I always like to do once I finish my wing is I take an angled brush, usually the same one I use for my eyebrows, and a pigmented black shadow, which is the only black shadow I use, and I will pull down from the wing I have officially found my most favorite pair of fake lashes in the history of the earth. And it's these lashes right here. They are the Allure Crazy Ray Ray um, Vlogger Series lashes. So before I put on those lashes though, um, I like to set my eye makeup and everything going on before and after I put on lashes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I have the Wet n Wild uh, photo focus setting spray. I don't like to spend a lot of money on setting sprays, but I'm sure there's a better one out there that does not cost like five bucks, but this one only costs five bucks and I don't like spending money, so. <laughs> so then just go ahead and put on your eyelashes and I'm gonna put these on off camera because uh, letting glue get tacky and shit takes a long time and then we'll be back. All right, okay. So once you have that done, we're gonna move on to our dots. Um, oh, fuck, I left my blue open. Let's see here, where is, where did it go? On a scale of one to 10, how am I struggling so much right now? Okay. I like to use like a pin for sewing. You can also use like a bobby pin. You can use anything with like a rounded dome type tip on it that you can have control over and then liquid eyeliner. And I just like to paint the top in the size of which I would like the dot to be. And then with a steady hand. And I usually do like an uneven amount. So I usually will do like one over here and two over here or whatever I choose to do. And then once you have your dots on, you're good to move on to your lips. So I like to use the Alien um, Liquid Suede or I don't know if you can hear that, but someone's getting arrested outside, so. <laughs> Once that has mattified to a point, I will use the NYX Butter Gloss in Black Cherry, or Blackberry, or Black, some, some type of, some type of, Blackberry Pie. And I put that in the middle of my bottom and top. And then once you have your lipstick on, you're actually done with the look and you have accomplished looking like this, I guess. And I will be back with a new video soon. I hope you like this one.